everyone, my name is Cassie. I'm here at the Urban Farming Institute in Oakland Park, Florida, bringing you our Act Now, Nourishing Ourselves Holistically series, which is all about teaching everyone about healthy habits that you can practice in your everyday life that are especially important for our health, both mind, body, and soul during this challenging time. So we'll be covering habits about nutrition, physical activity, stress management, mindfulness, gardening, and just all around overall health and wellness. So today I wanna to highlight an important nutrient, vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin and it actually is needed in our body for calcium absorption. So, you know, it helps contribute to our strong bones. It's also important for cell growth as well as neuromuscular function. But what some people may not know is that vitamin D also plays a role in our immune health. Vitamin D can actually help the immune system's innate antimicrobial ability, or in other words, our body's natural defense to fight off or maybe stop the growth of harmful microorganisms that we might have encountered. In fact, a fun known fact about vitamin D is that it was unknowingly used in the treatment of tuberculosis before the invention of antibiotics. So people that had TB that were in a sanitarium were told to go outside and spend some time in the sun. So as well as food sources, vitamin D can also be obtained from spending some time outside. So another fun fact about vitamin D is that normal individ or individuals that have normal vitamin D in D intake when compared to individuals that have inadequate vitamin D intake, the population with an inadequate vitamin D intake actually has a higher incident of upper respiratory infections. So as we know, COVID-19 is an upper respiratory infection. And so we wanna once again, make sure that we pay actual, extra special attention to getting our body this important nutrient that helps support our overall health and wellness. So a couple food sources for vitamin D are going to be fish such as sardines, salmon, but also just spending 10 to 15 minutes outside in the sun can help your body get vitamin D. And so, you know, we could be spending time outside just enjoying the outdoors and all the fun sounds and everyday life. We could be gardening, meditating. We have this time now where we're really trying to spend a lot of time at home and we wanna make the most of it and make sure that we're happy and we're enjoying and maybe connect back to our nature and our roots. So don't forget, sunlight is a great way to get vitamin D. Just because we live in the sunshine state does not mean that we're getting enough. So if you might have some questions about that, contact your healthcare provider or make sure to tune in for some other recipes during our Act Now series so you can find out about how to get food sources of vitamin D. Like us on Facebook, like this video, and subscribe to our Act Now series to stay up to date with the next video.